Hi everyone and welcome to episode 14 of this vlog about growing a tiny tropical garden in the south of the UK. Now this week we had what seemed like April showers mixed with sunny spells so it was time to stay inside and start some plant propagation. This is Begonia luxuriance. It's the palm leaved begonia and it's awesome for tiny tropical gardens. It propagates really well from stem cuttings so that's what I'm going to talk you through now. Once you've selected your cutting material, you just want to remove any foliage that you're not going to use. The purpose of this is to reduce the amount of water that your cutting material is going to lose for its leaves. Once you've done that, you're going to want to trim your cutting material to a healthy plant node. Now nodes contain a lot of cambium tissue, and this is where the most growth happens in plants. And I'm going to trim mine to this node here because it will be the right length to stand up in my jar. You can reduce water loss even further by reducing the surface area of the leaves. This might seem counterproductive, but we're simply going to trim the leaves in half. By reducing the surface area, you're reducing the amount of transpiration that will happen from your cutting material. And since it hasn't got any root yet to uptake more water, you don't want it to lose too much. Now all we have remaining are our trimmed leaves and this tiny little growth point here. This will be perfect for a new cutting. Now, as you know, I like to reuse and recycle wherever I can. And these little spice jars are perfect for propagating cuttings. Now, I've just filled it full of tap water, made sure it's washed out really well first. And the shape of them is perfect for holding your cuttings. I've finally decided what annuals I'm gonna grow for the tiny tropical garden this year. And we're gonna grow them from seed. So I start by breaking up the seed compost to make sure it's well aerated and there aren't any clumps. The first seed I'm sowing is Cypress papyrus. This is a great tropical looking architectural plant. It has tiny seeds, so I'm just gently tapping them into the soil, trying to get them as evenly spread as possible. But I've had to use my finger just to spread them out a little bit more. I'm gently pressing the surface of the soil down. I don't want to compact it, but if I consolidate it slightly, it's not gonna slump and it will make sure the seeds have good contact with the soil. I'll water these using a spray nozzle as I don't wanna disturb the seeds too much. And I'm lucky that my brother's lent me his heated propagator for a couple of weeks. It is really important that you label your plants. And if you do it this way, you can enjoy ice creams at the same time. Now this might seem obvious, but when you're writing on the labels for your plants, make sure you only write on the top half of the label. Because once it's been pushed into the soil, you're not going to see anything on the second half. And it's really important that you put the name of the plant and the date that you sowed the seed, just so you know how long to expect it to germinate. I'm also going to sow some Amaranthus cordatus, Love Lies Bleeding. This is a really popular plant for the tropical garden style. And as well as that, I'm going to grow some Early Splendor Amaranthus. These are great for tropical looking foliage colour instead of flowers. In just three days in this heated propagator, the seeds have germinated and grown away well. But I had a problem. Everything was growing really leggy and leaning towards the sun. This is some purple sprouting broccoli that I've germinated for my allotment. Let me know if you want me to start making videos about that too. This rapid germination is really beneficial, but having seedlings grow this leggy is something that I can't have. So I finally invested in my own propagator and this one sits right on the windowsill. So hopefully the seedlings won't germinate and grow so leggy leaning towards the sun. I checked on our begonia cutting four days after I took it and you could just see the first signs of root growth at the bottom of the cutting. 
As soon as this establishes good roots, I'll pot it on and let it grow away in a pot before I plant it outside. So although it's been bad weather this week, I've managed to get lots done in preparation for this year's garden. If you've got any tips, advice or suggestions, please comment below, I'll get back to you. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.